Hi everyone, Jessica Sanders here. This is my third video using the D Distress Crayon watercolor kit. Today I'm going to try the smudging technique, uh, but I am going to add in a white Sharpie mark just because I think I want to, and let's see how this works out. Okay, so I have the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock, and I'm going to use the smooth side, and I'm just going to be smudging some colors. I think I want to work... Um, let me see, we've got, we could do like a rainbow kind of effect. We have these colors that came in the kit. Um, purple, red, blue, green, and yellow. So the only one that doesn't really fit is this. I think this is the rusty hinge. Okay, so I don't know, let's just see what how many colors we get. I'm going to turn this this way, I believe. And I'm just going to color these colors. And this is similar to a project that is in the little book that comes with the kit. Very, very similar. Let me smudge these two colors. Now you see they're not really smudging very much. That's because this is untreated cardstock. If I add a little bit of water, I'm going to add a tiny bit on my finger. They're going to move a little more and smudge a little more. See? But I don't want to add very much. That's why I'm not spritzing. And again, I'm not into super clean, perfect things. So off we go with the next two colors. Green and yellow. And again, I'm just going to do smudging. First with a dry finger. Oh, I picked up a little of that green. First the dry, then the wet. Use a different. Ah, I want to add color on it too. Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Smudge this kind of smudge those together. So I'm just picking up clean water with my finger. I'm just gonna blend out these colors a little. Kind of going all the way to the edge because it's fun to do. Okay, and then let me do the rusty hinge right in the middle. My finger is still a little bit wet, so it's much more. Flying supplies. More water. And then I'm just going to work my way out with these colors again with the with the fossilized amber and the peeled paint and back to the chipped sapphire going along with her theme and I think I'm going to leave it at that again just smudging as I go And overlapping those colors a little. I just want to bring this blue out to the edge a little. And I think I want to do the same over here with the da -da -da -da. see those preserves. Ah, I see. I missed a color. I missed the Best of berries. I'll put that over here on the side. There we go. I just wanted to get every color in my set onto this paper. And it looks like I did it. Yay. And it is messy and striky and stripy and everything. And that is perfectly fine with me. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is stamp on this butterfly image this distress ink and these 
stamps came with my kit also. Everything you see in this demo is with the kit except for my white Sharpie. And I had an idea to, for using it, so that's why I have it. And this, as I said, Distress Ink. This is not archival ink, it's Distress Ink. And I'm going to put my butterfly just like that. Oh, it did not stamp all the way. You know, I wanted to be... That was my fault for not putting enough pressure. Pretty sure I put enough ink. Now it's going to be messed up because I'm going to stamp again. And it'll be a little blurry. But I have more of the butterfly. Hmm. Doesn't want to stick there. Okay, that's all right. All right, I have another stamp that I wanted to put on there. This one says, out of limitation comes creativity. And that's kind of what we're doing here. This is a limited color palette, limited everything. Limited kit, never used it except this is my third video. Otherwise, I have not used it. So these are just my initial tests and play runs, so to speak. And because of my little mishap, there we go. Out of limitations comes creativity. I'm just going to wipe off my stamps real quick. Now then, the reason I had Sharpie is because I thought I would make a little butterfly trail. And um, that goes over nicely, very nicely over these crayons. Look how nice those little dots are. And then I can put a little white on my butterfly. That ink is not quite dry yet, and I don't, so I don't want to um, mess with it. Um, I think it would be nice to have like a little border, just a little. Maybe kind of border. And you probably already realized a long time ago that I like dots. Give me dots. I like how the Sharpie's working on here too. How you can see everything. Okay, I think now I can. Probably a sharper Sharpie would work better for this particular dotting that I'm doing. But this is working okay. It's just a little bit big. So I'm just barely touching it. So it just leaves a tiny dot. It's going over the black, which kind of, I like, kind of gives a shadowy effect. <laughs> I'm liking that, I'm liking that a lot. And another color too. Okay, I really like this. I'm calling that done. That is done. So very easy to use, nice, highly pigmented color. That Sharpie acrylic paint pen 
water-based paint pen goes right over it. It looks really, really nice. No problem there. And of course, it's blended with water on watercolor carpet. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.